welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Brian and today we're going to go over the Pack and Go tool. SolidWorks assemblies and drawings are fully associative to the part files that are used to create them. This functionality allows us as designers to easily make modifications to our part designs and the assembly and drawings will automatically reflect the design change. In an opposite manner, we are able to make changes to our parts by modifying dimensions and features at the assembly and drawing level. This is possible due to the linked references created between part, assembly, and drawing files. Here is a simple diagram to visualize how the references flow between file type. To sum it up, an assembly file cannot display assembled parts if the link to its part files are broken, and same with a drawing displaying views of an assembly or parts. If you need to send files to someone, how do you gather all of the reference files? This is where the Pack and Go feature comes into play. The Pack and Go feature allows you to select a top level assembly and automatically bundle up all of its references. To activate the feature while SolidWorks is open, go to File and choose Pack and Go. The Pack and Go dialog box allows us to manipulate what we would like to package up. By checking the Include Drawings box, the Pack and Go tool will automatically go and find drawings associated to the reference parts or reference assemblies. Additionally, we have the option to include or exclude simulation results, toolbox components, custom decals and appearances, and suppressed components. As you're choosing references to include, Pack and Go will tally your file count automatically. Saving options allow you to package all files into a folder if you're choosing, or you can go straight to a zip file, which is ideal for sharing. By choosing a zip file, it will enable the email after packaging checkbox, which will automatically open your default email application. Adding a prefix or suffix will rename all references for the packaged files. This is a great tool for keeping track of revisions and avoiding files with duplicate names. That's the overview of the Pack and Go tool. I hope you found it useful. Thanks again for watching this CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Be sure to check back in the future for new content. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.